Amidst the backdrop of the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, a new age of naval warfare has emerged. Standing against the might of the Russian Navy in the Black Sea, the Ukrainians are leveraging technology in an unprecedented manner, altering the dynamics of warfare. The Ukrainians have deployed lethal surface drones, known as the Magura V-5, to sow chaos amidst the Russian fleet. Today, we take a look into this innovative naval drone and what it means for the future of naval warfare. But before we do, be sure to like and subscribe for more military history related content. And while you're at it, why don't you leave us a comment and let us know where you think the future of warfare is heading. The Black Sea is a realm where the Ukrainian forces are largely outmanned and outgunned. Without a sizable fleet, the Ukrainians seem vulnerable. But beneath the waves and above the surface, a different story is being told. A story where technology is leveling the playing field against a formidable foe, Russia. Ukraine has employed a tool that's become increasingly important, the Magura V-5. These unmanned sea vessels have transformed into Ukraine's eyes and ears in the Black Sea and the Crimean Peninsula, surveilling and striking Russian forces with unexpected success. These drones can carry an explosive payload of up to 661 pounds, can travel up to 500 miles and reach a top speed of 50 miles per hour, are a symbol of Ukrainian ingenuity and resilience. The Magura V-5 is a versatile platform that is designed with adaptability at its core. Capable of being fitted with a diverse range of sensors and payloads, it molds itself seamlessly to meet the demands of any mission. Beyond its prowess in executing strategic suicide attacks, the Magura V-5 excels in performing surveillance and reconnaissance operations. Its capabilities extend further, with its video presentation highlighting its proficiency in ensuring fleet security, participating in search and rescue missions, and conducting sophisticated mine warfare operations. Their speed and their small size make them elusive adversaries. These factors may offer insight into how they were able to traverse undetected across the Black Sea to attack the Kirch Bridge, a nearly $4 billion project that has served as a crucial resupply route for Russian forces in the annexed territories. To ensure maximum stealth, the Magura V-5 is equipped with a choice of either an electric or a hybrid engine. Its navigation system is sophisticated yet flexible, allowing for manual guidance via a wireless mesh network or satellite communication, as well as the option for autonomous operation. The Magura V-5 isn't short on high-tech equipment either. Among its suite of additional gear are a dual-view electro-optic system complete with a gyroscope, a marine radar for precise detection, and a laser rangefinder for accurate distance measurements. Among the noteworthy feats, these drones have made their presence felt at the Sevastopol port in October 2022. Their docked in port was the Russian fleet's flagship, the frigate Admiral Makarov. The audacious strike served not just as a military success, but as a powerful symbol of Ukrainian resistance. The damage to the Admiral Makarov was indiscernible, but it wasn't the physical wounds that mattered. The psychological impact of Ukrainian drones breaching the heart of Russian defense sent a clear message. The Ukrainians were not to be underestimated. The developer of these sea drones believes their attacks are pushing Russian naval targets further into the Black Sea. This increased distance makes some Russian operations more difficult, if not impossible, thereby shifting the balance of power. These naval drones are not just weapons. They are a symbol of defiance, a beacon of innovation, and a source of hope for a nation fighting for its sovereignty. Yet, their story is still being written, one sortie at a time, one mission after another. Those missions, however, will be tales for another time. And there you have it. What roles do you think drones will fit into on the front lines of future wars? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out some of our other videos.